Monday, March 19, 2018, and we have a quorum. So I will call this uh, special Nuam Public Library Board meeting to order. Uh, the reason for this meeting is to consider a request from Nuam Public Utilities to install an electrical switch and junction on the library property. We originally started this discussion at the uh, last library board meeting and we felt that uh, more information was needed before we could proceed and I think all that information has been gathered so now I guess we just got to kind of hash through it and figure out which way we want to go. So how should we proceed Chris? Just should we recap with what's going on or? Um, perhaps reading through resolution number 2018-12 okay. because it does answer those questions. All right so the Resolution number 2018-12 is uh, to consider the request from Nuam Public Utilities to install the electrical switch and junction on the library property. The Nuam Public Utilities Electrical Distribution Department requests that the library board consider allowing the installation of an electrical switch and junction on the library property. Currently the switch is located underground on 1st North Street near the parking lot entrance to the library and it needs to be replaced. Electric Distribution Assistant Supervisor Jeff Vulcans recommends that the replacement unit be moved above ground because it provides a safer environment for workers compared with an underground unit and because it is more cost effective long term. The Assistant Supervisor requests that the unit be installed on the far northwest corner of the 1937 library building in the green area next to the sidewalk. This would involve removing one tree. The PUC would beautify the area around the newly installed unit according to the library board's wishes, for example, planting shrubs and a new tree. Because the 1937 library building is in the downtown historic district, the Heritage Preservation Commission was consulted and a letter from the chair of the commission is attached that indicates the proposed location is acceptable. Locating the unit closer to the library building would interfere with the facade. The commission has directed the PUC to paint the unit to match the library building. Photographs are included that show a similar unit to what would be installed at the library as well as a photo of the area of the library under consideration. The switch is about 8 feet 5 inches by 9 feet 8 inches and 4 feet 6 inches tall and the junction is about 5 feet 6 inches by 23 inches by 2 feet tall. The drawings that are included in the package show the following. Drawing number one is the library structures and grounds as seen from 1st North Street. The current switch is located under a manhole cover located to the right of the library parking lot entrance. Drawing number two, this installation option involves placing the switch flush with the northwest corner of the 1937 library building. This would involve removing two trees. Drawing number three shows the installation option involving placing the unit in the northwest corner of the 1937 library building and centered between the steps facing 1st North Street and the building corner. This also would involve removing two trees. Drawing number four shows the conduits serviced by the current switch, which provides power to many locations, including Martin Luther College. Drawing number five, this is the installation option recommended by the electric distribution assistant supervisor and located on the far northwest corner of the 1937 library property. This would involve removing one tree. Drawing number six shows the measurements of the area under consideration. Drawing number seven is the insulation option uh, showing the location of the uh, first one and a half parking spaces closest to First North Street. The light pole, which was installed in 2016, would need to be moved and three posts would have to be installed to protect the switch. So the options for the library board include the following. Option one, to approve the recommendation from the electric distribution assistant supervisor to install the switch and junction on the far northwest corner of the 1937 property. This would involve removing one tree and the unit would be located in an area that is currently green space. PUC 
landscaping after installation of the unit would be subject to library board approval. Option two, approve the installation of the switch and junction in the parking lot. This would remove, this would involve removing one and a half parking stalls, moving a light pole, and installing three posts around the unit. PUC landscaping after installation of the unit would be subject to library board approval. Option three is deny the request. The PUC would need to find an alternative location for its switch. Option four, table the request for further discussion. And then any other options stemming from discussion by the library board. PUC landscaping after installation of the unit would be subject to the library board approval. All right. So that pretty much summarizes it. We did cover a lot of this uh, at the last library board meeting. The only differences being now that we did uh, check with the Heritage Preservation Commission to get their recommendation. And if there was any, uh, anything that would prevent us from um, placing the switch in the junction in uh, the variety of locations and then uh, see what else. Oh, and then we also added the uh, verbiage about the uh, uh, PUC beautifying the area around the new installed unit, which would in could include planting shrubs and a new tree. Is go ahead, go ahead Carl. Um, is uh, the representative from the utilities? Um, and Jeff Falkins is here, I think. Yep. Is he going to be answering any questions? <laughs> yep. Yeah. He he's here to answer okay. any questions, and uh, Elwood uh, Zabel is also here. I just have maybe a couple questions, Jeff. And uh, first one is. You've listed uh, above ground sites only at the library or the library property. And I, I know one of the other options you have is uh, underground. Were there any other above ground options that the utilities has for this project? Not, not at this time. Um, we kind of looked where the system switch was and then what the uh, retrofit the area for the cable and that so um, that's why we chose the library I also at one time chose the church if I could use that boulevard but they thought they might be building a parking lot um, so I got turned down there so then the next step was to go to the library the, the church boulevard which church the one on first north and state okay they thought they might build a parking lot. I've been here for 32 years. No parking lots have been built, but um, they, uh, <coughs> the, uh, with the board members up there, I, I spoke with them, and then they, they decided it wasn't a good idea. So they were going to, uh, part of their parking lot was going to be on the boulevard, in other no, words? it would have been. It, Church is right on First North. <coughs> okay. So behind there, they're thinking about maybe at one time putting a parking lot in there. Also, they do have a rental property that has to come through that lot to get to the driveway of the garage right now. So they didn't want to interfere with that either. So that's why they turned me down or turned the market price down and put a switch in that. Would the switch have been located on the boulevard? It would have been out, right two feet off the sidewalk on their property. It would basically be going along first and only. And you needed their permission in order to install it there? Yes, to get easement. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm here for, to see if I can get easement from the library of the city. So we put that switch and junction in place. In a case where you require easement, are you only compensating the, the private property owner? Are you compensating them for anything monetarily or just getting an easement from just, them? Just getting the easement so somebody, well, the library is never going to change hands, but 
on personal property, if somebody changes hands and comes in there, if I don't get an easement um, and says I don't like that box, well, if we don't have an easement, then we, we have to move that box. That's why we do it on private property. That makes sense. I understand that, but but you don't think that that, that um, the property of the library could ever change hands? I mean, the city could ever divest of it. I told it. I mean, it, it's city operation. I don't think anybody's going to go out and purchase the library off the city. Well, not the library, but this property is by the historic building. Is that two separate lots? I I don't know. Um, Mr. Ellsworth went and contacted um, the historic board, correct? Mm -hmm. And they they preferred it where number five was, as long as you know it was painted to uh, match the, the property. They had no problem. Okay. Yeah. I read that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Does the electrical switch injunction need to be close to the area where it is now, or can it be anywhere in the city? Well, it's got somewhere in that area, it, preferably because where we have our cables run. Our cables are running up the first north, and then also they go up that pole for that riser pole, which is a different feeder. So mm -hmm. those will have to be rerouted to them comes. That's why I wanted to try to get as close as possible. Mm -hmm. But from um, my my purpose is we like to get everything above ground now just for personal safety. The switches go bad or the cable goes bad. It's easier to work on and it's more safe. Well, you had also indicated that uh, Putting a new switch in its current location would requires, require a customized size, yes. which would be more costly than a standard size box, which you're getting now, correct? Correct. Um, one of the, I, I don't know if the salesman was enlisting because we took them up there to take pictures and uh, our vault is, like our door is like seven foot wide and then they sent me a, a drawing of a, of a uh, one-sided switch, which was gonna be 11 feet, so I don't know how we'd even get in the hole. So we get to back to just, he wasn't even paying attention or miscommunications. So, so regardless, if he did even right size it, it'd be a customized box, custom size. Yeah, it, it's going to be a customized box. To, to do in Is it possible to place it across the street? <clears throat> across the street is a private property I realize that but there's a there's a bushy area in there that has a lot of I mean any I guess anything's possible you know I, I just we're just trying to keep it on that side and and then we can splice in our because our conduits are going are going down on the um, south side of first north so then we don't have to go across there and then come back but I mean anything anything's possible design anything, I guess. But, um, basically, that would be a nice location on my point, but you guys may have different ideas. I, I'm trying to work with them. You know, they, they, the company said they could already custom spray paint them at the building, so I don't think it'd be an eyesore. And there wouldn't be a, a blockage of any visual of getting in the library or anything like that. So, so you had to worry about public safety. So the, the height measurements of each unit is going to be as stated in here. It won't be any taller than four feet, six inches, or? The junction will be about two and a half foot tall, but that's gonna be a little shorter. If we, it, just like to, to that, that, that'll be the height. So the one with the red sticker is the three-phase junction, if you can see that picture. Oh. Okay, and then the next one is, is the height of the switch. And the, the uh, junction will be closest to the sidewalk, so you'll have like three feet before the switch starts on that corner. Is, is the library 
property, city property. You know what I mean? Yes. So let's just say that we as a board deny this. Could the city, someone in the city turn around and say, well, it's okay with us? My understanding based on conversations with the city manager is that this is a library board decision by state statute. I just feel that the city has done so many great things for us that if they had a different opinion, it would feel, you know, uncomfortable for me. But if we get to make this decision. And I'm looking at Elwood because that he was in on that manager's meeting when I we talked about the um, about this decision and that it is a library board decision um, because of the state law. Okay. That's why I was. Well, I guess I'm not one to complain about eyesores in the, in the city about how, how this looks. But I can tell you, when I could see, I'd much prefer a tree and green space as opposed to a metal box, regardless of its color. And well, sure, we can we can put outside but, that, you know, to through the library side, we can put a little shrubs or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm sure you could, you know, shield it as best you can with still... Uh, Without making it a nightmare for somebody to do a lot of work. Maintaining access to it. Um, but I, I, I guess I haven't really changed my underlying opinion from our first meeting about my uh, preference for this to not be um, where you're going to put it by that historic building. And I understand, um, you know, the other board sentiments regarding uh, the parking lot. But it seems to me that I would prefer that um, we exhaust or you exhaust all other above ground options before we, before I would, and I don't even know at that time if I would you know, consider voting for this. But if there are other options that are still out there that would take this away from that historic building and the green space to the library, that would really be, I think, um, good for us to know that that has been done. And, and I know you said that you talked to the folks at the uh, church. Um, there apparently isn't is an option to run your cable across the street to the other side of First North and I don't know if up by the old school junior high is, is an option but and I don't know how would your cable get from its current position into the new box how would you run that if you're gonna put it we're gonna open up the street or more up to the boulevard and then go in. so you would you'd have to rip up the curb and the sidewalk and the boulevard well, yeah and then anything we we take on we mm -hmm. i mean that's that's minor that's just part of the game and you'd have to do that going into where you want to put it or the other side of the street correct. so you're 100 percent correct it wouldn't that. matter then you know there's no real advantage one side or the other I mean, well one one advantage would be that the cables would be closer on the on the library side you know, that would be a big, bigger advantage for, for our, in my point of view. But the cable is is not that uh, much additional expense or that much additional cable. You're going to be running cable regardless if you're running 20 feet or 30 feet. Sure. Yeah. I mean, you're looking at maybe 100 feet compared to 50 feet or whatever. Mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. Like, you're getting some bigger costs with that 500 copper and stuff like that, like mm -hmm. seven bucks a foot times three, three plus a neutral in there, so you get about 50 bucks a foot. So wherever you move it farther, you have additional costs. Mm -hmm. I'm concerned with removing two what I think are maple trees that are um, same age and. There's, there's some versus but. 
they're locust yeah, trees. Some birds. Okay. And I, um, sometimes when you remove one tree, it affects the other tree. Sometimes when you have one tree, it affects the aesthetics of that space. And we're also losing grass space. And we don't have a lot of grass space around the library. We have grass space in the in the boulevard. The um, And I don't know what the long range plan is for the children's librarian to, will she, will she use that space? I'm not sure about that, but I, I just have a concern about removing two trees. Well, with the option five, we don't need to remove the one, so. I don't see an option of beautifying with shrubs or another tree. You'd have a, a little tree and a, and a maybe a, a little tree and a big tree, and I. Or else you have a roll, like an L shape in your shrubs. I mean, you just, you know, we do a lot of tree trimming in the area, and a lot of people, you know, um, come home and they go, oh my God, what happened to it? But after a couple of years, it just grows on it first. Mm -hmm. you know, it, just, it just changes. Some, some people don't like change. Mm -hmm. uh, part of the fact is, though, even any attempt to beautify it, uh, you're still going to need enough space around it for access, so it's not like it's going to disappear. I mean, it's, sure. you're, you're going to see it, regardless. You're well, <clears throat> perhaps uh, an option for us to, to think about is is maybe. Uh, tabling this until um, Jeff maybe has had an opportunity to, to exhaust additional above ground options and come back and report to us at another board meeting. I, you know, if we could vote it down, or at least that would be my preference at, at this stage, um, since, um, you know, the parking lot doesn't seem to be a favorable option for them. Um, and, uh, or for the board, for that matter, for some board members, and not every one of them that voice an opinion in favor of, of not using the parking spaces is here. So I would hate to settle on that without them here. Um, but uh, uh, if not, if, you, if you'd like to make a motion on that, on that, and then we can uh, determine uh, okay. if there's a second for that. Well, I'll, I'll make a motion that we, we table the item uh, until uh, we hear a further report from uh, Jeff Fulkins from the Electric Utilities Department regarding the exhausting of all other above ground options within the vicinity that would still allow them to uh, put in their switches, be it uh, across the street or up at the corner by the junior high property, if that's an option. but look at other above ground options that that, uh, uh, that may be available to them before we uh, move on this item as a board. Okay, a motion has been made by Carl for uh, having the city exhaust all their all other above ground locations uh, in the vicinity prior to, uh, to the library making a decision. Do I have a second? I have a second. Okay, I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All right, then hearing none, I'll put it up to a vote. All in favor of Carl's motion, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion carries. So for now, then I guess we will table this until you can uh, get some more information on the, uh, on the possibility of putting it in other locations even though they may not be the closest uh, but uh, we want to make sure that we exhaust all options before putting it on to the library grounds okay. all right thanks everyone consider this meeting adjourned